Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Applied Energistics 2 tutorial series. We're winding down and covering the last couple of odds and ends. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at the quartz cutting knife, cable anchors, facades, and inscriber nameplates. So none of these things are actually necessary for uh, anything in Applied Energistics 2. They're just extras. Um, Two of these are strictly cosmetic. The only thing that has any functional use are the nameplates, but you don't need it because you could also use an anvil for all those things. So first of all, let's take a look at how to craft the tool that we're going to need, the quartz cutting knife. Quartz cutting knife is crafted with two Sardis quartz crystals, an iron ingot, and two sticks. Once crafted, you can hold it in your hand. It's just a little, tiny little knife. It's used to craft cable anchors. Well, it's one of its uses. Cable anchors are these little stick things that will attach to the sides of cables. They're mostly decorative, although they have a couple of functional uses. They're crafted by simply placing your cutting knife at an iron ingot in a crafting station, and you get three of them. Doing this damages the cutting knife as well, just so you know. Now, what do you do with these things? Well, they're basically for decoration. So if you've got, for example, let's just grab a grass blocks. If you've got a, um, like a wall, imagine this is a wall and you're running cable up the wall. It looks a bit, it might look a bit funny or if you're running it along the ceiling. If you want it to look a bit more like your cable is actually attached to the wall, that's what cable anchors are for. So you can sprinkle some cable anchors in there, and it'll make it look more like your uh, cable is actually attached to the wall. Now there is a slightly functional aspect to this, in that you can actually use them as a ladder. Make it easier if you extend this out a little bit. So you could make a ladder out of cable. Not sure why you would want to, but if you've got a lot of cable going up, and you want to be able to get up there like a catwalk or something, um, you could always use cable anchors as a way to get up instead of using uh, blocks and ladders because it's a bit more bulky. Aside from that, cable anchors will prevent cables from attaching to each other, but the way that you're supposed to do that really is by painting them. So if I was to place cables here, they would not uh, connect because there's cable anchors in the middle. So that's one of the that's the primary use for cable anchors. They're basically just decorative. Next we have facades. Now there are a lot of these and we talked about them before because of the network tool that lets you see through them. The you can use facades to basically hide cables in situations where you want to do that. And you can make them out of almost any block. The crafting recipe is whatever block you want to make a facade out of and surrounded by four cable anchors. And the list of how many different facades there are is essentially infinite. Um, it depends on whether a mod author wants to you know, make their blocks facadable. And there's a lot of them. Like a lot, a lot. I'm serious about that. If we click on the Applied Energistics 2 Facades tab in Creative Mode, we can see just the enormous amount of facades that there are, even for ore blocks. Basically, and things like sinks and stuff, and actual machines and things that are in certain mods can have facades made out of them. Um, it's all up to whether something was made facadable. You can even get these uh, sign facades. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's a lot of facades. So they're basically pretty simple. You just slap them over things like uh, cables and I think certain buses you can put them over. And it just hides them if you don't want them visible in a certain area or for a certain reason. And there you go. If you do like this the cable will pass through the facade so you can use facades as uh, 
cable pass-throughs, which tends to clean up the look if you're going to pass a cable through a wall. You generally uh, don't want to see, and if, if there's no other cable immediately next to it, it'll appear thicker, and so the cable will completely fill the hole. So it just makes it look nicer when you pass it through walls if you want to use facades. That's the main reason I think I would use facades. But then you can come up with your own uses for them as well. Now, the final thing that the Certus Quartz cutting knife can do for us is to create inscriber nameplates. If you hold it in your hand and right-click, you'll open a GUI. In this GUI, it, it should remind you a little bit of an anvil, you can type a name. Then place an iron ingot in here, and you can pull out an inscriber name press that's of the name that you just uh, put in. You can then put this into an inscriber. We give it some power in either the top or the bottom slot, and then you can put something in here that you can name. Now there are a lot of things that are nameable in Applied Energy Six Two. Um, in previous episodes, a couple of them, I've shown that you can name certain things in the anvil. You could also use the nameplate. The issue I have with the name press is, of course, the fact that you have to, uh, you can't rename them. Once you've made one with a name, you can never, uh, you always have it. You've used an iron ingot. You can use the thing as o over and over as much as you want, but you have used an iron ingot to permanently use one name. So, the only the reason I could think of to use this over an anvil is one, if you don't want it to cost experience, and uh, two, if you just um, have a specific name that you use a lot. Those are the only reasons I can think of. Now, one of the interesting things is that you can name ME interfaces. And we'll talk about why you would do this in probably one of the next step in well, I mean, one of the next episodes. We haven't gone over this because it hasn't been useful, but I'll be showing you one of the uh, final blocks, one of the final things that we talk about in this series. Will be uh, There'll be a use for naming things like interfaces. So that's the Inscriber name press. Put it in an Inscriber and it lets you name stuff. Um, it can be quite useful. Ma basically, the reason that you would name stuff in your ME network, one of the reasons, is just so that you know what is what. If you've got an enormous network, you're going to want to name your stuff because otherwise, how are you ever going to remember what goes where? And when you look at something like the ME controller and it shows you how many stuff, how much stuff you have connected to it, if you don't name this stuff, it'll just show up weird. But in the next episode, we'll talk about uh, something else that'll make this more useful. So that's the Surtis Quartz Cutting Knife. These last couple episodes are going to be pretty short because we're just going to go over a couple of miscellaneous objects and then we'll be done. So there'll be at least one more episode. So stay tuned for that next week. As long as nothing crazy happens in my life, it'll be out. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks for watching the series. It's almost over. I am. Stay tuned for the last episode. I'm Sutton L.H. and I'm signing out.